for tuning in to our first episode of the Ax Now Show. We're going to talk about so many things over the course of the season, and all of our topics were submitted online and through focus groups. Today's first question comes from Virginia Commonwealth University, and it is, should college students be in relationships? Now, I have my own personal views about the topic, but I want you guys to hear from somebody a lot more knowledgeable. Everybody meet Frenchie Davis. Hi, Frenchie. How are Hello. you? I am great. <laughs> Thank you for sitting down with us. Thank you for having me. So tell me about some of the things that you have going on right now. Oh, uh, I'm so busy. So okay. uh, going back into radio, mm -hmm. I've been mm -hmm. on a little radio hiatus. And uh, so my radio show is called Libido Talk. Uh, I'm uh, one of the only sex health talk radio shows on the Eastern Seaboard for WBAI. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to be working for a terrestrial station here in the next couple of months. So oh, that's nice. keeping me pretty busy. Mm -hmm. uh, some research projects with uh, urban black men and um, just staying on the rise and learning as much about sex as I possibly oh, can goodness. as a sexologist. Yay! <laughs> Okay. Um, so yeah, staying busy. Okay. Well, I know you know we spoke briefly already about the topic. So today's yes. topic is should college students be in serious relationships? Mm. And we just want to kind of get your feedback a little bit. I mean, do you think that's something that they can do and stay monogamous? Um, absolutely. And okay. I don't. I don't think that uh, monogamy is is about uh, whether you're in college. Mm -hmm or whether you're post-college or whether, you, because, I mean, even people who don't go to college still have to face the same decisions. Of course. So, uh, but the question is, um, just always being mindful mm -hmm. that, that your life and your love life is such a journey. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, in your early relationships, um, they're not guaranteed to be permanent, mm -hmm. and we shouldn't be seeking permanence. Hmm. We should be seeking experience and information and other ways to learn about ourselves through mm -hmm. other people. Tell me what you think about long distance relationships. I, mean, I, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> At all? I'm, For what? I mean, a lot of people, especially in college, like, you know, you may have significant other from home or at a different school and, you know, they're trying to make their relationship work. You just think. Time to grow up and let go. A relationship is for you to be able to relate to one another right. in the presence of one another, in the midst of one another. And you can't do that hundreds or thousands of miles away. Now we're in that space of hookup culture, right? So we're forgetting about dating. We're forgetting about courtship. Uh, we're, we're forgetting about building genuine friendships. Hmm we're at this you know well you know I can do what the guys do and the, mm -hmm. but the guys shouldn't be doing it either <laughs> so that's the problem is it's like you know sometimes girls are trying to catch up to the guys mm -hmm. but the problem is the guys shouldn't be that far ahead of us why do you think there is that double standard I mean I, I know it's been around forever but it seems like it's kind of just socially accepted <laughs> we have to decide not to participate if you're an active participant, mm -hmm. you you are a participant in how people how people treat you, right? So mm -hmm. if you don't stop and say, "Do you like me?" and they just have sex with you and then they go about their business and you never hear from them, you participated in that. Okay. Because you did not take the time to ask. And then he moves on to the next individual. So you want to engage somebody, spend mm -hmm. time with someone before mm -hmm. you start, you know, sharing your body and your spirit with someone. Okay, so what I'm getting, <laughs> let me know, that we should be living in the moment. Live in the present. So yes. not focusing on the, the marriage down the line and not hookups, just living in the moment and also finding out. And I'm, I'm going to try to start that myself, and I think everyone should, you know, just to ask that question, do you like me? Because I like think people me? are afraid to say that, you know? Do you, so. you, don't, you don't have to, it doesn't declare that, that the person has to be in love with you, mm -hmm. but you do want to be intimate with somebody who actually likes you. Right really likes you and that's really okay just stop as soon as the the button is coming down and pants Hold a little on. loose <laughs> it's like do you like me 
And if you if there's a pause, <laughs> you wait on that. And, it's time and to I'm move. like, if they say, I think you cool, <laughs> you take your cool ass home. Right. That's what you do. So where yes. can we where can we follow you? Where can we keep up with you? I mean, we, we got to keep this conversation going. So yes, uh, mm -hmm. I do radio with okay. WBAI. My show is called Libido Talk. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to libidotalk.com, mm -hmm. L-I-B-I-D-O-T-A-L-K. Mm -hmm. You can email me directly at libidotalk at me. Dot com. Okay. Um, my Twitter and Facebook page is Frenchie's Talking. Okay. So I'm Frenchie. If you want one of my sex geek t-shirts, you can go to my website. You can be a little <laughs> sex geek like me. It's up, you know, people go crazy when they see me in the street and they're like, she's a sex geek. She likes sex. <laughs> Heaven forbid. You know, so. A little yes, do they know. You can right, break into you know, a whole conversation. Exactly. <laughs> little do they know that I have a master right. in human sexuality. <laughs> but. But yes, um, you know, Frenchie's talking, mm -hmm. libidotalk.com. Okay. Look me up. If you want to email me questions, libidotalkatme.com. I'm always here to answer questions. Got it. Well, thank you so much. Oh, and I write for EBE Magazine okay. also. So that's Evolving Beauty and Elegance Magazine. So you can find that online and subscribe to that as well. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I thank appreciate Thank you for having it. me. So we always like to hear your feedback on the topic as well. So I posted the question to my Instagram at Ask Curvy Carol, and we were able to get some responses. Um, Quincy Jones 27 said, date your books. If he's worth it, he'll wait for you. He'll understand what's important. I dated through college and it was a distraction. On the other end of things, we have Howard Compton who said, ideally one should find their mate at school. Maybe not freshman year, but around junior or senior year, you should be looking to settle down. And then finally, there's Tragic Lover who said, it depends, it can work if both people are on the same page. Um, I kind of agree with parts of all of this, but you know, I want to hear you guys' feedback. So make sure you tweet me at AskCurvyCarol or go to AskCurvyCarol.net and leave your responses. Thanks.